recently, I went to China for over a year. And when I got back to my home, I saw this in my kitchen. Three out of the four halogen light bulbs were burned out. My mom takes care of my place while I'm away, but in her retired age, she would rather work in the dark than try to figure out what bulb this is and how to change it. I live in Vancouver, Canada, a beautiful city in the summer, and I just want to get on my bicycle, go see my friends, and enjoy the city. Looking for a light bulb in the store is about as far down my priority list as getting dental work done. So then I got thinking, what is the true cost of this light bulb? I broke it down something like this. The bulb purchase cost $4. $5 for my inconvenience to change the bulb. <laughs> Electricity for 1,000 hours of operation, $10. Car use and gasoline to go to the store, for my case, $0, since I ride my bicycle everywhere. And I could only guess that the environmental footprint cost adds another $5. So the total cost is $24 per light bulb. After five years and several changes of all four of those bulbs in my kitchen, the total cost is upwards of $405. Ouch. Then I went to the store and found this bulb. LED technology, similar in brightness, uses only 7 watts instead of 50 watts. And next year, or 10 years down the road, this bulb will still be working like new. So I bought four of these bulbs and changed them out for $100, including my inconvenience fee. Add in electricity cost and the cost to the environment, and we arrive at $142 after five years. So as you can see, I save a lot of money. And my mom, she will be happy in this kitchen for the next 20 years. I met my business partners back in 2005 while we worked on the solar-powered car for the University of Toronto. There, we discovered our passion for green technology, and we realized just how very important this will become in the years ahead. The solar-powered car is a great demonstration of what innovation and forward thinking can bring. This car, it can drive across the Australian continent at 100 kilometers per hour without using a single drop of fuel. In theory, everybody is supportive of preserving our planet Earth, but sometimes it can be inconvenient to choose that green option. The three of us came together with the ultimate goal to make products that add convenience to our lives and at the same time make the world we live in a better, greener, and more sustainable place. We started thinking about light bulbs only about a year and a half ago. We saw the various new LED lighting options coming, but they were only similar in efficiency as the compact fluorescent bulbs about 70 lumens per watt, but the upfront cost was way higher at $50 each versus $3. The compact fluorescent bulb seemed like the better option. We couldn't understand why anyone would buy an LED light bulb. If something's going to be so expensive up front, it better be able to save a lot of electricity. We set out to design a super efficient light bulb. These were our assumptions. Number one, a large fraction of light bulbs are installed in fixtures that hide the bulb from view and help to diffuse the light and eliminate glare. And number two, the cost of electricity is an important part of the equation. The cost to change the bulb and the environmental footprint are also adding to the cost. And this is what we came up with. We call it the Nano Leaf light bulb. This light bulb is the world's most energy efficient. We have a few versions. We have a 75 watt replacement that uses 10 watts of electricity, and we have a 100 watt replacement that uses only 12 watts of electricity. 
that's equal to 133 lumens per watt. We can also customize the colors and the engraved patterns. We launched our idea on Kickstarter in January of this year, and we managed to raise over $270,000 through crowdfunding. With these funds, we were able to set up manufacturing, and now we are starting to produce these bulbs in volume. This bulb's super high energy efficiency is due to several reasons. We used a, an LED package with a silver reflective base to help reflect more of the light outward. We purchased the most energy efficient LED dye, which is the tiny semiconductor part that converts the blue light, the electricity into blue light. We use the best phosphors available. These convert the blue light into white light. We designed a power supply that's 95% efficient. Other bulbs on the market typically have a power supply that's only 80% efficient. We added more LEDs and we optimized their power use. And finally, we distributed the LEDs on the surface of the bulb so that light is emitted in all directions, thus eliminating the need for any plastic diffuser or any other optics. With all these efficiency gains, we got a light bulb that was almost twice as energy efficient as the competitors. We mounted the LEDs onto a flat surface, a printed circuit board, with a unique two-dimensional shape and all the circuitry built in. We then cut grooves into the board so that it can be bent. And then the printed circuit board can be conveniently folded into a three-dimensional bulb-like shape with all the LEDs facing outwards in all directions. Because our light bulb was suddenly twice as energy efficient as other light bulbs on the market, the problem of heat dissipation was greatly reduced. In fact, less, this light bulb produces less than half the heat, and this allowed us to completely eliminate the heat sink. Instead, the heat from the LEDs is channeled to the unlit sections of the bulb, which make up most of the surface area, and this is enough to cool the LEDs sufficiently. Also, I want to add that producing aluminum is a very energy-intensive process. I want to show you a cost breakdown showing the operation of four types of light bulbs over 30,000 hours with a 1,600 lumen output and with European energy costs. Over this time, the old-fashioned incandescent bulb will need to be changed 30 times and will cost $30 in light bulbs and consume $600 worth of electricity. The change fee and the environmental impact costs are very high. The compact fluorescent bulb will need to be changed four times and cost $12 in bulbs, but will save a lot of electricity, costing only $144. However, the compact fluorescent bulb contains mercury, and this adds to the environmental impact cost. The typical LED bulb will last a full 30,000 hours, but it has a high upfront cost of $40 but it saves a little bit more energy, costing $108. The LED light bulb is looking like the better option, but not by much, and this may only be true at the high European energy costs. The Nanoleaf LED light bulb will also last a full 30,000 hours. It also has a high upfront cost of $45, but the, the electricity savings is considerable, costing only $72. With a small change fee and no aluminum heat sink, the environmental impact cost is low, and the Nanoleaf light bulb in this analysis is looking like the most economical option. We are already working on the next version. In the next version, we have completely redesigned the power supply. This version will be dimmable and will have a better transfer efficiency from the power company. We are manufacturing our light bulbs currently in China. We do all the designs and sourcing of the parts ourselves, and then we partner with the factories to do the manufacturing and assembly. What I like about China 
is that you can go into the factory and get really deep into customizing and optimizing the parts you are trying to make. We did that with our LEDs. The package choice, LED dye, the phosphors, etc. We really have a chance to innovate at different levels. Finally, I want to relate to you some ideas about forward thinking. There are many ways to make a light bulb. Today, I've presented just one idea. If anything, I hope that Nanoleaf can show others that light bulbs can be made more energy efficient with a bit of creativity. That's the kind of thinking we need right now as a society. We need to think forward. We need to create products that make sense when you look at the big picture. What we need to remember is that forward thinking has no bounds and that almost nothing is impossible. And with that, innovation will follow. Thank you very much.